Welcome back to Hub City TV. I'm Alexis Ware. And I'm Christopher Fields. And staying focused can be a challenge for many. It's safe to say we all struggle with it from time to time. Well, research from U.S. News shows that students who procrastinate score 3% lower than those who don't wait. It's not just college students who wait until the last minute. Reporter Brianna Spears has more. Some do it more than most, but we're all guilty of procrastination. We put off things we may not want to do and sometimes expect good results. Forest General Counselor Associate Casey McCurdy says, It can be bad with every aspect of your life on relationships school, being successful, and things like that. Procrastinators tend to find the smallest thing to distract them from their work. And when the deadline approaches, some tend to panic. If you wait to the last minute or like the last week to do a research paper, you're gonna be stressed. Um, you're gonna be running around like you're crazy. You're not gonna eat, you're not gonna drink because you're so focused on getting that work done. Some University of Southern Mississippi students agree. I'm a pretty high stress person like in general, so probably pretty nervous. It was, it was like, oh, I got this deadline coming up, I got this deadline coming up, I'll wait till tomorrow. And then tomorrow comes, it's like, oh, I have to do this tonight, so I sit down and I knock it out. A lot of times with procrastination, it causes errors because you're rushing through everything, you can miss data, you can um, maybe misrepresent something because you read the first sentence and not the second. Willis disagrees to an extent. I'm a practice practiced procrastinator, so I've gotten to the point where I can like turn out pretty quality work in a short amount of time. Um, so grades have not been a big problem, but I think if I did it too much, then it probably would be a problem. <laughs> hey Alexis, do you have a tattoo? No, why? Well, according to Fox News, the number of Americans getting tattoos rose 13% since 2007, and most of those people were under the age of 30. In our next story, reporter Quincy Hayward investigates the possible consequences of having a tattoo. Does it lead to discrimination? Yeah, I wanted to get one a long time ago, but I decided that it would be a good idea to wait until I saw what career path I was going into because I just want to make sure I'm not getting discriminated against. Businesstime.com says, though no longer a kiss of death to employment, millennials should use caution with tattoo placement. Man, we got a phrase in the tattoo industry. We call them job stoppers. This job discrimination is really serious. It happens on as it can happen for any reason, and you don't want it to be a tattoo that keeps you from getting the job you want. Uh, a tattoo that's visible on the neck or something that's uh, visible on the hand. I'm getting one on my foot, so it's really discreet. I can cover it up every day if I need to. Forbes.com says, though excusable in corporate America, 14% of tattoos affect loan and housing approval. I'm the one that assigned for uh, government assistance. It's a um, possibility that they're looking at the tattoos instead of looking at, you know, your work, uh, the quality of your work. And um, I just try to avoid, like, uh, them having to go through that as far as, like, not being able to have a job because of a tattoo on their neck for their first tattoo or something. I would say just make sure you, you're doing what's in the best interest for your career. With Hub City TV, I'm Quincy Hayward. Hoverboards aren't the only technology that can catch on fire. According to Hattiesburg Fire Lieutenant Stephen Mooney, overuse of search protectors could cost you your life. So how do you plug in your device matters? Moon reminds us that charging devices can create heat. Each thing has its own cord and it should be plugged into a receptacle. And those receptacles have a certain rating and they should not be overused. Stick around in our next segment. Hub City Blitz. We bring you stories on athletes' body image. And the effects of sports stars behaving on young athletes. Thank you. 